So today we're off on an exciting adventure. We're going to be spending the day with a private investigator. My name is Talon Paul and I'm a private investigator. Uh, I'm from the Lummi tribe. I specialize in criminal defense investigations. Oftentimes I'll, I will go out in the private sector and look into whatever anyone might need, whether that's background investigations or sometimes missing persons cases. I do get calls about people asking me to look into um, their spouses. Uh, that's few and far between though. <laughs> kind of an interesting story about how you're able to locate me. Um, can you uh, tell me about that? I was looking into missing persons cases in the state of Washington and I came across your video where you were hiking out here in the wilderness right around the point where someone went missing and I just got your email from the YouTube channel and reached out to you and said hey I'm looking into these cases and I was hoping you could show me around. The name of the video was Anderson Point Bunker during turn of the last century up to the mid-century uh, military had leases on land on the Macaw Reservation and they built a whole bunch of bunkers and they were actually planning on building a whole bunch of bunkers here but the war ended and they just pulled out and uh, they didn't leave a lot of information behind about you know how the bunkers were utilized or locations and so forth and so you kind of sometimes find these bunkers just in the middle of nowhere. Today anyway we are going to go into Anderson Point that is uh, one of the last locations where uh, Bryce Herta was possibly at. Is that what you found? Yeah, he, from what I found um, on the reporting that was done on um, this case, mm -hmm. is that a scent was picked up um, at the base of Anderson Point on the beach, mm -hmm. and that was one mile, um, I believe one mile north of where he was last seen. And um, that's why it's really interesting um, to me that a scent was picked up six days after his disappearance. Oh, yeah. And um, they still found nothing. Uh -oh. we got to pack up and get ready, and so we're going to start our adventure out. Right now we're at the point where um, the trail turns and goes back up behind me toward the Shai Shai Trail. And on this side of me is the trail that leads up to Anderson Point. You can kind of see it above the tree line right there. And 20 years ago, more than likely, um, if Bryce had been uh, had gone this way, uh, there's a whole bunch of streams that are off to the north, so he more than likely would have come down this trail. It might have might have looked more like an animal trail at the time, or it could have been like a... a well, I guess there should have been a trail that leads from the Shai Shai Trail to Anderson Point, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been well traveled on. But more than likely, he would have had to have gone down that trail to get to Anderson Point Beach. So there's two beaches on each side of Anderson Point. We're going to start out on the uh, south side of the Anderson Point first, and then we'll go up on the north side after, right onto the beach. So we just made it to the top of Anderson Point, and uh, we're going to go over, got to go off the trail now, and um, we'll uh, take a look at the first beach to the south of Anderson Point. There's not really a trail here, but the view is just spectacular. 20 years ago, Bryce probably would have been traveling on something like this if he had gone off the trail. And this is the small beach to the, just to the south of Anderson Point. That's the top of Anderson Point where the bunker's at. This here is uh, the old military road running up to the bunker. 
I wish the whole road looked like this. We've been hiking through some pretty dense stuff. Right now we're at the, the very top of Anderson Point and there's the bunker behind us. Old military bunker from World War II. You were just telling me about um, the last time that Bryce's scent was picked up on, when was it, the northeast side of Anderson Point? Yeah, from what I've read that's been reported on it, um, there was a scent that was picked up on the northeast corner yeah. of Anderson Point, and they sent divers down there to investigate and see if they can find anything, mm -hmm. um, which is puzzling because there is beach access down there, but it takes a quite a long time to get there. It's a couple miles. Yeah. Um, and the fact that it was found six days after his disappearance is um, it it's baffling to say the least. Yeah. So I know what we should do is probably follow the most likely trail Bryce would have had to go down to get down to the beach. Mm -hmm. And we're probably going to have to do a little bit of pushbacking, but um, <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. Okay. <laughs> so right now we are just north of uh, Anderson Point on the Shai Shai Trail. And we got to cut over through the woods to get to the Anderson Point Beach. And we're going to get off the main trail now and um, see if we can find a way to get down the beach instead of... Uh, going back all the way to Suya's beach and cutting over. So you kind of told me an interesting story about how you got into investigative work. Can you share that with us? Oh, oh yeah, over the yeah. phone? Uh -huh. Yeah, so um, I was just becoming a teenager mm -hmm. and um, I learned that I had a long lost brother um, who was adopted uh, before I was born. Mm -hmm. I spent years looking for him um, to no avail until one day he reached out to us and uh, it turns out he lived down the street from my older brother. Oh. Um, and then we had this big, big family reunion and I felt very, um, a little bit disappointed that I wasn't the one who found him, <laughs> but uh, still uh, yeah. very, very proud that I was on the right trail because it turns out I, I did find his foster parents oh, yeah. or his, not his, his, his adopted parents. Yeah. Um, so I was on the right track, but if I just kept looking a little bit more, I, I, I would have found him a lot sooner. From there, was there, what, what, how, how did you transition from doing that into investigative work? So that, that's where I got the, the, you know, the spark for the uh, problem solving process. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and eventually I started working at a security company mm -hmm. and um, there I got, a, I was interested in law enforcement yeah. for a while, but after working in the security industry and um, working with police officers, um, I decided, no, I don't really want to be a police officer, but yeah. detective, how do I do that? Yeah. <laughs> the security company I worked for was actually a private investigative agency, uh -huh. and they had um, a position opening up for a private investigator. Wow. And that's how I got started. Cool. If somebody mentions private investigator the, the first things that come to my mind of course is like a magnifying glass and then <laughs> yeah. if you're working on a case you got like a board with a whole bunch of pictures and notes and stuff yeah. that you rearrange is that how you work it's exactly <laughs> like that except all digital so oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i have um like my my notebooks and stuff and uh -huh. i want to get a whiteboard so I can pin stuff and you yeah. know, draw the strings, but yep. there's a lot of note taking, yeah. um, and you have to be extremely organized. And having the strings like that, I've never seen how that would be useful, yeah. other than on a map. So. Yeah. <laughs> Very fascinating. Well, thanks for sharing that with yeah, us. Yeah, of course. Okay, well, we're going to continue on and see if we can trudge through the woods here and make it to the beach. <laughs> so this actually hasn't been too hard. We were able to walk from the Shai Shai Trail to the beach right by Anderson Point. Okay, here we are. This is the, wow. the beach below me here is uh, the beach next to Anderson Point over here. Um, high tide right now. I'm not sure if we want to go down or not or if we can get up, but I think we'll go check it out. Yeah, so right now we're walking down the side of the hill. Anders Anderson Point Beach and it's not really a trail here but there's like tons and tons of animal trails and so you can literally just walk right through the ferns that lead to the beach. Whoa! 
Dude. <laughs> Pretty slippery. I actually got rain gear on, so just to be safe, I'm gonna just sit on my butt and kind of slide down the hill here. Whoa. Yeah, it's pretty steep. Got Talon doing up there. So, looking at the view here of the, we're on the northeast side of uh, Anderson Point. Um, what what thoughts come to mind about things you've read in the case? Um, the most, well, I guess this is high tide, so I'm not sure what it would look like low tide. Um, based off what I have found, um, it, it was most likely low tide at the time he went missing. And um, that's only from a tide predictor. There's, I haven't actually found anything um, to uh, verify that. Um, but the real question is, how exactly did he get down here? Uh, this seems pretty secluded. There are animal trails, but there doesn't seem to be any main trail that someone would have taken to get down here. And um, the only other question is, where was the scent picked up? Because um, this is the northeast corner here, and there's no real specifications on where it was picked up and where the divers went searching. Um, I can only imagine that rock line over there, but yeah, I'm not sure. Right now we're in uh, the very north side of Shai Shai Beach, and uh, what do you call? What do you recall about the case that you've read from? Uh, from what I recall, Bryce was with a group of um, eight or so kids and one adult. Um, and the kids, uh, being adventurous, wanted to go explore another part of the beach or go to some other scenic view. Um, and they chose a trail. It may be this one, uh, or it may not be, uh, but uh, that had a. It was pretty steep and it required a rope to to get up and Bryce being so young six years old at the time um, was unable to make the journey and uh, so everyone decided okay you know Bryce you can stay and play on the beach and we'll all go check this thing out and come back um, it was either that or Bryce would come meet them by going traveling along the beach and meet them at some other location um, and at that point, um, there's different reports on how long he was gone for, or I'm sorry, how long he was on the beach for. Anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, give or take. And when everyone came back to go meet with him, he was gone. So we're gonna venture down the, the trail with the rope here. And it's a pretty terrifying trail, so. <laughs> So yeah. We'll we'll check it out and we'll go we'll go down to Shai Shai Beach. Okay. Yeah, careful down about halfway down is a, a rock slide and it's pretty unstable. So but make sure you just hold on to the rope. I'm actually a little bit terrified of this trail, but I'm gonna go for it. A sheer cliff off to the side of me right now. Look okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah, don't put all your weight in the rope. Like we made it. If this indeed was the trail with the rope that I heard about, uh, I can see why Bryce was unable to complete that climb. Um, even right here, it's gonna be, it'd be difficult for me uh, trying to climb. It's basically vertical. So if Bryce was here on this beach, um, just north of Shai Shai Beach behind me, um, and they went that way, and he was here for, let's say, 20 minutes. Where would he have gone? Uh, right now, this is high tide, so normally you are able to access um, Shai Shai Beach to the south of us, and I'm not exactly sure how far north you can go from here, uh, but the tide does go pretty far out, so I'm, I'm sure you can get pretty far. 
and they did find footprints of his. Um, I'm still uncertain on what direction he was going and how long the footprints were because the main thing I saw on all the reports that I've read is that there was a trail of footprints and then there was a gap and then the trail continued. So my guess is that the ocean kind of swept away some of some of his footprints, but it's if it was at low tide, I mean the beach is quite wide at that point, so it's unclear on how close he was to the water. So now we would like to go check out uh, Shai Shai Beach and look at any other trail access points um, to see uh, where else Bryce may have gone. That's what they call those sneaker waves, I think. <laughs> they need to call them something besides sneaker waves because they sound fun and inviting. So what are your thoughts now? Do you have more answers or more questions about the case? I have more questions. Um, I guess the most, the most pressing questions are how long was Bryce alone for and where did he go? And the other question is, how did his scent get picked up one mile north of here, six days after his initial disappearance? Extremely puzzling, and I don't know yet. So from here, I guess we're going to continue back on the Shai Shai Trail and head back toward the cars. Um, got about an hour hike to get out of here. Well, that was fun. Uh, I think we got in close to 20,000 steps today, so big day uh, made it back to the car um, thanks for allowing me the opportunity to spend the day with you it's been pretty fun thank you for having me yeah and showing me around okay well great so thanks for joining us so I'll maybe hopefully see you soon again